I want to talk to you about something that's happening way more than it should be. Young adults, people in their 30s, walking around with elevated A1C levels, and they have no idea. Let's get into it. I'm Nurse Vindira with Bi Individual Health and Wellness, and I'm a board certified functional nurse health coach. So last week alone, I have met multiple patients with A1C levels that were above 5.7% and above 6.5%, and they didn't know. This falls into the pre-diabetes or even the diabetic range, and not one of them had been told. Now, of course, I do screenings, but it was time to take action with their primary care provider and get further testing, as in order to fully diagnose type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes, you need to know the fasting blood glucose as well as the A1C, and the test needs to be done at least twice for a diagnosis. But these patients had not been tested before, and they didn't know what to ask for. And that's a huge problem, because when it comes to blood sugar, symptoms can be subtle or easily ignored. But just because you feel fine doesn't mean that your body isn't struggling. So here are a few early signs of elevated blood sugar that often go unnoticed. Increased thirst or urination, feeling hungrier than usual, numbness and tingling in your fingers and toes, lightheadedness or shakiness between meals. And at the end of the day, you don't really know what to look for unless you know what to look for, right? And so that's why I'm here, to help you notice what your body is trying to say. If you hadn't had your A1C levels checked recently or ever, it's time to ask your provider. This is not just about type 2 diabetes, it's about prevention, awareness, and taking control of your health before symptoms become something more serious. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like, follow, and share with a friend who could use this information. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and take care.